you ever notice that sometimes people have award-winning websites or maybe an award-winning recipe? I mean, what a great marketing tool that you can sit there and say that the item that you're selling or that you're promoting is award-winning. Well, today I'm going to show you how simple that is. Today on Colorado Martini Living. So for years, I have been entering contests. I have been entering everything from fairs to national contests since I was about 16 years old. And I have awards for my photography, for my gardening, for my cooking. I pretty much have entered every kind of contest there is. And one of the places that I've gotten most of my awards is the county fair. And what's so great about the county fair is that the people that are entering in the categories are very minimal. So your chances of winning are very high. With your websites or one of your social media sites, seek out contests across the nation or even internationally that are looking for people to enter these contests to be the top 10 um, website for cooking or the top 10 website for hiking. They're out there. There's photography contests that the National Park Service sponsors. There's a lot of outdoor um, enthusiasts that I follow and they take these wonderful shots and these wonderful pictures and they should be entering contests. There's even drone contests out there for the footage that you take. You just have to seek them out. This is actually a very fun activity because not only does your community get to see your wares, but it's if you're a family channel, what a fun thing to do with your kids. I've been doing this with my kids for years. My daughter, one year, she made the greatest caramel candy. And by accident, she put in lemon flavoring instead of vanilla. And it turned out to be the best caramel. And she won first place. And not only is it good to enter these contests, but think of the exposure that your products or your content is getting try entering the contest under your channel name and so you can say that your channel actually won the award so start small start at your county fairs um, a place where you feel very comfortable and you've gone to the fair you've gone and looked at the wares that have awards and so you feel comfortable in that environment so you have a better chance of winning because you kind of know what your competition is I've also entered contests within organizations that I belong to. I belong to the Daughters of the American Revolution, and so I entered um, some of my photography and won second place on the national level, and I was very proud of that. I've also entered cooking contests in magazines. I actually won um, twice in Sunset Magazine. One time my family was featured in one of their editions in 2004. And boy, were my kids excited about that because they got to be in a national magazine. Oh, and one other thing, if you're a family channel, I highly recommend that you get the entire family involved in this. It's a really fun activity. I've done it for years with my girls. My kids have won everything from cooking contests to photography contests. It's a wonderful experience that you can do with your children um, to build their confidence and to bond with them. And it's fun. And so they love going to the fair and showing off that I did that through the cabinet and to let all their friends know that their things were on display at the fair. Um, it just is a really neat thing to do. Um, most people think that all you can enter in a county fair is uh, livestock, and that's not true. Um, your children could do anything from photography to artwork um, to knitting to pretty much anything. I mean, what a great project for them to do with their grandparents to knit something or sew something and allow their grandparents to pass down just a wonderful uh, craft that they know. Um, it just is a really neat experience for grandparents and parents to get involved. 
in most counties, you don't have to live in that county to join that fair. So if you've missed the fair in your county, try the, the county next to you or a couple of counties over. So one of the first things you want to do is go onto your county website uh, where the fair is being housed. And it's usually under exhibitors and there's usually a deadline and you usually have to fill out a form to enter whatever you're going to be entering. They usually are called classes and the classes are the different categories. So if you're entering photography, um, maybe you're entering um, a landscape and so that would be one of the classes. Um, you also be aware of the deadlines and when you're supposed to be dropping things off. So also be aware of the presentation. If you're entering vegetables, they may only want three tomatoes or maybe 10 string beans, um, what plate they want them on. Um, so really pay attention to the presentation. For instance, I'm entering photography and they want it on a matted board, not a poster board, a matte board that you would normally see in a frame, and they want to present it a certain way. So no hangers, things of that nature. Um, but every county fair is different, so definitely pay attention to the rules. Most of the time when you're entering a photo, they want you to mount it. Um, at my particular fair, I can use one of these, and then I mount it to a piece of... of um, this backing, this white backing, um, and then you can present it that way. You can get this like photo mounting stuff to put on it. All right, so I've got my cheese that I'm entering and my pictures, and then on Saturday, I'm gonna be entering all my vegetables uh, because those have to be fresh and be judged on the same day. We're on our way to go see the judging of the vegetables and Santa Claus judges the vegetables here at the Boulder County Fair. I kid you not. So like I said, Santa Claus judges our vegetables. <laughs> seen if I placed in the cam in the photography so I got second place for my echinacea cheese um, got second place so, things that the kids have done in 4h which is a wonderful program uh, to get your kids involved. You don't need to live on a farm or a ranch to be part of 4-H. Um, I highly recommend it. So when this video is um, coming out, it's right before summer. And that's when you really want to start looking at the county fairs. Um, it's when a, a lot of the contests are. And also too, if you win at the county fair in your category, depending on the state that you're entering in, you have the ability to go to the state level, which is winning two contests. So if you win on the state, you are the winner across the whole state. And how cool is that? So you have to seek out these contests. They're not going to seek you out. You need to get on the web and you need to find them in whatever your genre is. And there just is contests for everything that's out there. I guarantee it. And remember, whether you win first, second, third, or even fourth, you still can say you are award-winning. I love the fair. 